Hey guys, welcome to day 28 of the Spark Change Challenge and I am coming to you live from my car <laughs> because as part of my Relationships and Connections Challenge and the Spontaneity and Entertainment Challenge, uh, I think I, I posted after I saw the Barbie movie with my husband a couple of weeks ago, I did an impromptu get together with a bunch of girls and we're going for a, a second a second viewing uh, some of us for the first some are seeing it for the first time some second one I believe is even seeing it for the third time and um, in deference I'm wearing my my Barbie pink uh, so tonight's session is going to be relatively short uh, but the the thing that I wanted to share today's domain being achievement and accomplishment the thing that I wanted to share was sort of a follow-up from a previous live where I talked about not diminishing your accomplishments just because they come easily to you so you know not not diminishing or minimizing something that you've done just because you've done it you know um, uh, the I think the example I used was um, a client who had done um, a an insanely long endurance race where people had actually died and they didn't see it as an achievement not only finishing that race but coming second and it when I was I was actually talking to that client again recently and talking about what that what that taught me about minimizing our accomplishments what it said about our need to quell our awesomeness basically um, but the detrimental effect that has then because we we go around destroying the evidence that would otherwise help us go you know what I've done some hard stuff in the past I'm good at this particular thing uh, and the, the the evidence that would help us when we are faced with a particular challenge if we minimize and 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 diminish the accomplishments and the achievements that we have made then I mean aside from the negative impact on that inner child and and the negative impact on the relationship with self we're also setting ourselves up to feel more anxious more uncertain more nervous about the challenges that are still to come whereas if we actually pay a little bit of attention and I'm not saying you know take out a full page ad and you know hey you know the, the 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 soup and the toast came out at the same time and they were both ready to eat at the same time I'm just saying when you if you start paying attention to the little achievements the little accomplishments as well as the goals that you set for yourself the realistic goals that you set for yourself and and how they turn out then the next time you're faced with a tough situation you're much more likely to be able to to call on that evidence to call on that and go yeah, you know what? I I have done some tough stuff in the past, and I seem to came out, seem to come out okay. So maybe I can do this next thing. So that's my uh, deeper dive into achievement and accomplishment, not just in terms of self care and and what it means for that relationship with the with the vulnerable child part. Um, you know, giving them a pat on the back when they do well, but what it means for us as well in terms of resiliency, in terms of um, facing uncertain or challenging situations with a bit more confidence that we can actually do it. And yeah, I, I hope I hope this was, was useful for you. This, is, this has been an interesting way for me to start to really think about this um, and a way for me to start to um, overcome my fear of being egotistical or, or being seen as, you know, um, big headed and all of that sort of stuff um, I'm, I'm hoping it might do the same for you but that is it from me this evening I'm heading off to watch Barbie and I will see you all in here tomorrow when we get back to relationships and connections all right thanks everybody bye